Java is one of the most powerful programming languages, with it being used in a lot of areas. Java is one of the big languages that you should learn because it's very powerful and has a lot of demand in the market. So Java is a great skill to have and put on a resume, and the best way to have proof of your ability with it <clears throat> uh, would be to get a certification. And probably the best one to get would be the OCAJP certification by Oracle Corporation, which as you've probably already seen is the topic of today's video. So Oracle is one of the best places to start learning Java, and I'll provide a link to all of their uh, certifications and the roadmap in their description below. So the roadmap for all for all of the certifications that are offered at Oracle are mostly for the professional level, as you can see here, uh, which you need an associate level certification to get first. So the OCAJP certifications long form is the Oracle Certified Associate Java Programmer, which of course leads you to the Oracle, uh, Oracle Certified Java Programmer, which is the professional level. Again, I'll leave a link. Uh, so the OCAJP has its own course that you can take, though it is paid, this course's syllabus is available though. It specifically teaches you everything that you need to know to prep for the exam. I'll make a separate video in detail about the syllabus, so stay alert for that. To get the Java learning, you have to pay for the subscription, but there is uh, a free version. The only issue is that this free version will not have uh, all the things that the paid version does, <clears throat> as you can see here. So that's the exam syllabus, and next up we have the exam details. So there are no prerequisites to complete this exam. There are no prerequisites to complete this exam, of course, since it's entry level, and, this is, and the certification that you get from this will never expire which is great since you can always say that it's currently active. The only thing is that this certification is specifically for Java SE8. This certification will not apply when talking about later versions, which the latest version of Java right now is on 18.0.1.1, So as of recording this video. The exam allows you uh, 150 minutes of time to complete the questions, and the minimum score you require to pass is 65%. There are 70 multiple choice questions uh, which are on the test. The exam costs $297, and this will all take place, again, as I said, in Java SE 8. To start the exam, after you purchase your voucher, to, uh, you are given a code that you can insert into a section to begin your test. The exam is online, and there is a webcam uh, required. This webcam will, at minimum, be required to have a resolution of 640 by 480p and uh, 10 frames per second. <laughs> uh, you can look over this video to get some more details about the exam environment, which I will also leave in the description. Uh, that just about does it for the exam details, so now let's cover some ways to prepare. There are some YouTube videos and online resources that I am using to study. I am still preparing for the certification, by the way, and I will link them in the description, but both of these resources will contain questions pretty similar to what you see on the actual exam. There is a video by Android Developers Africa, which is explained in a lot of detail about the test taking process, and like they explained it in a lot of detail, so I really like that, and so I put their link in the description as well. Go check out their video later. Uh, and secondly, there are some practice questions. Again, I'll leave them in the description, so please be sure to check that out. So that just about does it for today's video. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.